Lucia Casaza is the woman behind the hair. Now, Lucia, we've met many times. You've been doing Teresa's hair since about season three of Jersey Housewives? Yes, that's true. Good morning, Andy. Good morning. So tell me, what was the inspiration for the hair? How did the idea come about? Well, as we know, Teresa, my girl, Teresa, she is the queen of Jersey. Okay. So we needed hair that was fit for a queen. I mean, you know what we stand for, Jersey. You go big or you go home. Now, and, okay. I started at the beginning. Yeah. So John. Of the talks. John is wondering. So was it just, so did Teresa say, I want the biggest hair ever? <laughs> She's that you would thought right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, Teresa said, my hair has to be over the top. Like her hair is okay. She always is about the hair. Okay. So we wanting to change the hair. So we collaborated together okay. to create the look. Um, Louis loved her hair out of her face. So okay. So I was like, mm. you got to make the groom happy on the big day. Right. Uh, did you draw it or sketch it? or yes. How did you get yes. to the scale yes. and size? Yes. Good question, John. So, me and Teresa send reels back and forth to each other all day long. Okay. Like, funny memes, reels, like everybody else. Okay. In today's, you know. And um, she co- she would send me these hairs that were so elaborate and fabulous. And a lot of them were, you know, Italian weddings, Mediterranean weddings, like very over the top. Yes. And I was like, yes, love, love, love all of it. So, then me, Teresa, and Gia went. We went to Bridal Styles Boutique in New York, and we picked up. We ha- were there for, like, three hours. Okay. We tried on every hair piece, every crown, maybe twice. Okay. Three times. Yeah. And when they put this one on her head, I it like, brought tears to my eyes. I was like, this is it. <laughs> this is the crown. So, now, yeah. John is wondering what the hair was made of. Yeah, what is it? Yeah, what is it? Is it just, what is, is that, that a big piece that you put on top of her head? Or What's it a in there? confection no, of them? it's the magic. It's the magic, Andy, of the of my of my job, you know? Um, it is, what we what I did was I built a, it's all human hair that's in her head. Wow. So she has a uh, K-tip, keratin, a custom-built uh, fusion, like a custom-built head of extensions that we put in, because she naturally has very long hair. Right. But... That all goes goes away when you curl the hair. Okay. So we added more extensions to it. We yeah. had, we used clips, and yeah. she only had one pack of clips, not even the whole pack. It was more I that what was inside the crown was an insert that I custom uh-huh. built that I do for a lot of my brides. Okay. And From what? Like a Nerf ball? Like like no, what is? No what do you ball. make it out of? No, not a Nerf ball. Um, it's like a mesh fitted form. And I built it myself, so I took the mesh and I basically added, I stitched it together, and then I added the hair extensions to it. And so how many pounds of business were on her head? (laughs) How many pounds of business? Um, So she had seven bundles only of the carrot infusion, and then she had the one pack of clips. She had uh, the three pieces of mesh like co- brought together, conjoined, and stitched oh to create the insert for the max volume. Okay. And then, you know what we do in Jersey? We tease. So right. it was teasing and pinning. Oh she actually had over 1,500 bobby pins in her head. So let, let me ask you this. When at the end of the night, she wants to have a little, to quote Teresa, brown chicka brown chow with, um, <laughs> with, her, with Louie, her new husband, how does she get it out? Uh, so after oh, she's that, still wearing it. Yeah, right. partying, we all did. Yeah. I was completely done. Um, it was a very long day. Uh, Priscilla actually helped and she helped her take it down. It took, uh, close to two hours to remove all the pins. Oh my. Before God. she could do any, uh, nasty, freaky wedding activity. So then, <laughs> so you're telling me Priscilla then, who we've known forever, who's Priscilla is Teresa's makeup um, guru and I think was one of her bridesmaids. Love, love Priscilla. She's at Watch What Happens Live like almost every day. So Priscilla took this out of her hair from like two to four in the morning or something? Uh, yes, actually. Wow. We all stayed, we were all staying at the hotel in the, um, at the venue 
and Priscilla Rockwood, she did help wow. me to take that down because and, my and, little fingers were tired. And is it all in one piece now? Is it something that could be in the BravoCon Museum or is it all in a pile somewhere? It, it's definitely in a pile. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Hang on. Yeah, the big question is how much did it cost? Not your fee, yeah, but right. just the hair, the hair and the pins Good and question. the chicken wire Good mesh. Question. So the hair in her head, she had over $7,000 worth of custom luxury hair extensions. Just hair. Okay. In the head. Yes. That was the cost yeah. of the hair. And then she also had um, the, the styling of that kind of, of elaboration. It, it was run about twenty five hundred dollars. Wow! Right. Wow! So we're looking at ten a ten thousand dollar hair for the hair. wedding. You know, Hillary from Georgia um, called in and said that the hair looks a little toddlers and tiaras. Was that a little bit? I mean, I could see that being a little bit of an inspo. Um, I mean, I didn't. I listen. I love toddlers and tiaras. That show <laughs> gave me life. I yeah. loved it. Yeah, Those kids are adorable. Yeah. Um, and who doesn't love a good honey boo boo moment? Right. But no, yes. that wasn't my info. Okay. Um, I was wanted Jersey. her to look like a queen. Yeah. And I wanted her to serve like Italian girl, Jersey yeah. hair Shh. that was appropriate for that gown. And well, that headpiece was so massive. And we, heavy. we have another, yeah. we have another queen on the line who, uh, was at the wedding. Dorinda Medley, uh, from Radio Andy Thursday mornings live is here. Hey, Dorinda. How you doing? Dorinda, what did the hair look like in person? Good morning, Dorinda. Rapunzel. Good morning, Lucia. Congratulations. All I have to say, it was a Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. When they, oh, but it wasn't just about the hair, Andy. It was about the whole thing. And the, the place was beautiful. And when they opened up those chapel doors, Lucia, I bawled my eyes out. I mean, it was a vision. It was a vision it, yes, and when you were all in it, I was like, it took my breath away. It was a lot of hair, but she can pull it off. And if you look at her first wedding picture to Joe, it's just a much bigger version of kind of the first, the first kind of hairdo she had. Don't you agree? That's what she said to me as well. It was kind of, it was similar with the placement of the crown and how it was like the elaboration of it. Um, and I honestly didn't even realize I was doing that until I, it was done. And the, the yesterday when me and her were looking back and sending like all the things that were going up on the internet, I was just like, I can't believe this. And she's like, it kind of did, didn't it? And I'm like, yeah, now that I'm looking at it. it but I got to tell you something with the dress, with the multi dresses, with the fog, with the veil that was ex- incredible, evoked Khloe Kardashian sort of, uh, is it Khloe? Yes, the one that had the wedding just recently. It just, Courtney. Oh, Courtney. It, it, it worked. Courtney, Courtney, sorry. It worked. It worked. If anyone, I couldn't pull it off, obviously, Andy, because I just wear that short hair <laughs> everywhere I go. I'm uh, I, a I'd like to see it. I'd like <laughs> to see it. You had to stand on a chair, Lucia, to get up there? Oh my gosh, yes, I had to take my heels That's off I, and I had to put on, I had to stand on the chair to put the veil on and she didn't tell me what the veil said because she wanted it to be a surprise. And then we were in the chapel, like preparing her right to walk out through those doors. And I looked down at her and it was a very emotional moment and I was just like in tears. I was like, you look absolutely like a dream. Like you wow. look like what I, I dreamed to look like I, on my I wedding day. I have day. a question like, oh. for you. I have the question that I was asking the whole night was because she walked around a long time and a lot with that hair. Was it heavy? It like, didn't hurt her neck. Yeah, right. Yeah, yes. whip whiplash. Yeah, they yes. call it wig lash. Wig lash. Oh, too heavy. Because she, because she was very sort of postured, you know. And I thought, was she standing like that? I mean, she's beautiful, but she definitely was like, like, was that a balancing act? Um, I think it was probably a combination of like the walking, the heels, the hair, but definitely had to have been a balancing act because she said to me, it, she's like, by the end of the night, my neck, she's like, it was so heavy, but I mean, yes. it was so worth it. Like, she's a strong necked woman, Teresa. Hundred <laughs> oh, yeah. percent. Yeah. If yeah. anybody could I, I gotta tell you something, to Andy. Neck, she does. I got to tell you something. She was so happy. That, you know, no matter what else we've seen or the audience has seen or this, that, the show, 
she just was like in another world. It was very fair t- fairy tale. Listen, I'm Italian and Polish, so I've been to plenty of these weddings, but yeah. not for a long time. Yeah. And I turned to my friend Tim and I said, why don't we have weddings like this anymore? Like, right. where's the fog? If I get married again, Andy Cohen, I'm having fog. <laughs> So yes, the fog you're fire referring fire to is fog. she had she had fog on the dance floor uh, when she and Louie did her first dance. I love that. That's great. And, wow. a, and, a, and a light show. So it was like sensory overload. Wow. You left and you were like, I want to be married. Wow. I want to be married. I want to be married. Dorinda, let's married get married. Dorinda, yeah. let's okay. get married. Exactly. Can let's you imagine do it. us on serious radio together? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well, Lucia, you, di- you really did it. You really did it, um, Thanks, and uh, Thanks, you made a big impact. And I, you know, most importantly, the bride was happy. And so, anybody on the phone who's calling in to say you loved it or you didn't love it, guess what? It doesn't really matter. It's about the bride loved it. Who cares? And right. oh, it's ama- it's amazing. Yeah, it's great. It's way, beautiful. Yeah, you've set you've set the internet on fire. Yep. So that's an achievement. There you go. Uh, thank you. I literally, am, I had, I, this is literally not intentional. I'm like, we'll go down oh my go. gosh, what is going on? It's great. It's great. I was hoping that we could have it for BravoCon, but yeah, I mean, maybe even if it's, I mean, is all that human hair, is it like, is it, does it, is it still there or did you throw it out? Maybe we just oh, need a big no. pile of it. We'll no, s- yeah, we're not going to throw it out. I'm sure we can get you one. Save, in. save the, all the hair. I think we need it in a pile for BravoCon. You got it. All Andy. right. Anything for you. Thanks, Lucia.